Nobody will treat you better than you treat yourself. In today's world, for most people, investment makes sense in terms of stocks, bonds and forex markets, property or business. But investing in personal development is largely left to the back burner as people are too busy trying to make out a living. But experts say investing first in yourself is the beginning of a successful life. Dr. Wale Akinyemi is a corporate strategy consultant who sees a lot of sense in investing in oneself. Nobody can step on the toes of somebody who is moving. Expanding your knowledge base is among the ways of investing in yourself. Spend some money on books and create your own kind of library. Investing in your mind will not only make you a more attractive target for job promotions, but your set of skills will equally be enhanced. You must read more than you are taught. And don't just read what you understand. Even subject your mind to some things you don't understand. Another way of investing in yourself is networking. Don't be stingy towards paying for the forthcoming Consumer Rights Conference or attending next week's Real Estate Open Day. Your net worth has a lot to do with your networks, you know? And so the ability to socialize and to also invest in other people. This calls for follow-up communication after a meeting. An email, text message or social media message is an absolute must if you should remain unforgettable. I cannot tell you how much business has come my way simply because I sent somebody an email saying it was wonderful meeting with them. You may also inject your hard earned money in travel. Discover the world's hidden treasures, sample different cultures and cuisines. In other words, expose yourself within your financial limits. They said that all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Treat yourself to what you love doing beside office commitments. That's very, very important. You know, um, a lot of us get so busy making a living, we forget to live. And finally, create yourself as a brand in that which you do. When you build yourself to be a brand, then you have what I call brand mobility. And that way, you are not a prisoner in one place. But what should one do to achieve this? Number one is, like I said, be the best. And so, if you are unhappy with the direction that your life is taking, you may wish to consider those tips and back them up with sufficient research. You never know, that could be the best investment that you'll ever make. Patrick Egunza, Personal Finance, Nairobi.